we might as well uh, have a look at this week. Get to the betting, right? Do you want to start with uh, giving us a little breakdown of uh, what we're looking for at, at the Sony Open Pool? At the Wailai Country Club. Yes. Uh, so we move uh, from Maui to Oahu and the Wailai Country Club. Um, unlike uh, Kapalua, where there were wide open fairways and you really did need a wee bit of uh, length off the tee, um, length off the tee really doesn't count for much uh, here at all uh, at Wailai. You really want the flat stick to be uh, fairly warm. Um, strokes around the green um, should come into play now. The greens are a lot smaller than the greens that they've got at mm-hmm. Kapalua, so um, you're probably uh, going to be um, scrambling uh, a number of times during this tournament, so your ability to get up and down from around the green uh, comes into play big time. Uh, and I, I think the your iron play as well, uh, your approach, um, if you can put yourself in good positions um, more times than not, then you'll uh, certainly go a long way to be towards the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, agree completely. Um, other things I'm looking at this week, someone who played last week, eight of the last 10 uh, winners at the Sony Open have come from the Tournament of Champions. Um, I think Cam Smith, ironically, the last person to win the Sony Open and not come from the Tournament of Champions. Which was what, a couple of years ago. 2017, 2016, maybe. Was, um, as you say, the, the approach shots, I think uh, shots between that 125 to 200, quite a big gap, a big uh, marker there, but proximity from that that distance is key. Um, yeah, it'd be quite a quite a lot of long approach shots, uh, as you say, with the tight um, tight tee shots in play. A lot of a lot of guys probably going away from driver off the tee and, and just playing it safe. Um, also looking at uh, form from the Charles Schwab, the Wyndham, and the RBC Heritage, sort of windy, windier uh, courses, tight, tighter, short. yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't know, whenever there's wind that pops up, because it will be windy this week, um, I don't know about you, but I always sort of tend to look to the Australians. <laughs> to be it's, fair, they, they, did, they did pretty well with no wind last week. They did, yes, they did. Um, yeah. And I'm sure if Tom was here, he would agree, because he always does, does his research. He knows what he's talking about. So with that, let's start... Um, We'll start with Tom. I've got his tips here. Beautiful. Did I write them down? Oh boy. His best bet uh, is Mark Leishman. He hasn't given a reason, but I'll follow that up uh, because my, Mark my best bet is Mark Leishman. Also. Um, I the the Aussie one two punch to start the to start the year. Why not? Um, he ticks a lot of boxes here for me. He, as I said, best bet he, against the field on this course. He ranks top five in strokes gained total ball striking, tee to green, and approach. He's twelfth in strokes gained putting. Obviously played last week. As I said, he was T ten. He also boasts T four and a T three finish at the Sony Open in the last three years. He's a T three. Three T four and T ten in his last five starts, uh, and in those five starts, his strokes gained total numbers haven't dipped below plus point seven six, and have peaked at plus two point eight eight. Oh, oh. So, huge amounts of strokes gained on the field in those five events. That sounds like um, a, what do you call it? A super round. A super round. Yeah. If he uh, yeah if he gets his putter right. He will be up there this week. So uh, what are we going to do? We'll, we'll list our, we'll say our bets and then we'll, we'll, we'll go back money and, out afterwards, eh? Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, so who you got on top? I'm going with the defending champ, Kevin Nah at $26. Uh, he was 13th last week at Kapalua on a course that didn't suit him. We all know he's not that long off the tee. <laughs> um, so to finish 13th at Kapalua suggests that he's in some very, very good form. Uh, as I said, he's a defending champ, so uh, has form on the course. Over the last six months against the field, 
Uh, he is third strokes gained around the green and 13th in strokes gained putting. So he's nice. all his stats sort of point towards a good showing here. Uh, and coming off that uh, top 15 at uh, the Tournament of Champions, I think he's definitely worth a go. So Kevin, uh, he's my top pick. Did you mention he's defending champ? Or did I miss that? <laughs> That's a serious question. I might have missed that. Wow. Sorry. We've got a lot happening here. Uh, stuck in the middle of you, and I don't know what it is I should do. Tom's mid-tier pick, Eric Van Royen. Didn't come up for me. Um, but good 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 stuff, Tom. I'm gonna go with uh Chris Kirk. He has performed at the Sony he Open. He has. He's, see, he's seemingly boom or bust at the Sony Open, actually. Uh, since 2013, he has four top tens here, including two runner-ups, but he's also missed the cut four times. So, <laughs> well, you'll know by uh, the halfway stage. I will, yeah, whether we're in it or not. Uh, against the field at Wailai, he ranks inside the top four strokes gained total ball striking approach in Teeter Green. He's actually first Teeter Green, so that's uh, a big tick there. His form has been solid enough. He's only missed one cut in his last eight starts, though his best finish has been a T14 at CJ Cup. Uh, over the last three months of play, where he's played four events, he ranks 23rd in strokes gained putting, 39th around the greens, and 41st in both approach and tee to green. So I think at the price, definitely worth a look, uh, and definitely with the course form uh, and history here. Paul. Cool. righty ho. I'm going to go with Siwoo Kim at $41. Uh, he was 25th at this event last year. He was 23rd last week at Kapalua. Uh, we all know he has his struggles with the flat stick, which is not a good sign uh, when you're heading to the Wailai Country Club. Uh, but I thought I saw enough uh, last week on Maui to suggest that he may be turning the corner somewhat. Now, was he putting with a three-wood? And this is... This, <laughs> did he do that once when he... Uh, yeah, was it... Um, he snapped the... Uh, the it was planet. the Masters. Oh, it was too. Yeah. He finished, played the last actually, four holes and finished one under or something. He's, he's still <laughs> fucking quite well. <laughs> um, he's 11th strokes gained uh, around the green over the last six months. Um, and if he can just progress from uh, last week, well, I think the $41 is, is a wee bit of value. So Siwoo Kim is my mid-tier pick. It's funny we bring up putting every week. As a, you know, you have to be able to putt. The more and more I read into this, I'm becoming convinced that, you know, all of these guys are good putters compared to you and I. And it's just whether or not they hit or miss on the week. On the week. There's no, I guess there's a little bit of consistency to it, but, you know, a guy like Colin Monikawa who sucks at putting, if he brings us, looking at strokes gain data, which I'm big into at the moment, <laughs> If he comes from, you know, my, his minus half a stroke just to even, he's going to jump so many spots each week. Yes. it's Because the rest of his game is just so yeah. ridiculously good. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, long... uh, that was like Tiger when Tiger was. Oh, yeah. Uh, remember, he was um, strokes game pardon or something. He was around the 100 mark or something because he was always getting on the green and two on mm. par five. He, so he was always having the uh, 25 or 30 foot putt, yeah. Um, yeah. but still making birdie on those holes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Shout out to Big Cat. Uh, we should get him on the show. We should try and get yeah. him too. Yeah. yeah, after Annika. Yep. Um, Rubes, if you could talk to his people, that'd be great. Looks like a long, long shine, baby. Um, Tom's. Uh, long shot or roughy, uh, Harry Higgs. Also, another one that didn't come up for me, <laughs> but it's not to say, uh, Go, Tommy. not to say it's it's not a good good pick. I think Harry's playing about 150s. Uh, mine is is actually one of yours, Paul. Everybody's favorite Slovakian. Oh, Rory, Rory Sabatini, the silver silver Olympic medalist, silver medalist. Yeah. Um, how, how's this for? So in his in his last completed tournament, oh. he was T3 at the Shriners. Uh, after that, he missed the cut at Mayakoba, and he was DQ'd at the RSM Classic. 
I haven't dug into why, but I can only imagine, and I really hope it's for anger issues. <laughs> <laughs> um, coming back to Wiley, his, his course form proves uh, a little better than than the reading. He was T21 here uh, last year, 33rd and 32nd the years prior to that, but he has finished as high as second twice, uh, going back a few years now, though. Um, against the field, at the course, he ranks inside the top five in strokes gained, TD green, ball striking, and approach. He's 11th uh, and 15th, 11th strokes gained total, 15th in putting. So, uh, Rory Sabatini, look out. Now, you're, uh, you're long, you're roughy. Oh, yeah. We've gone Peter Malnardi at $151. Uh, look, he's. He hasn't been playing very, very well, to be fair, uh, of late. But That's a good start. But uh, he does have a wee bit of form on the course. Uh, he's had two top 15 uh, finishes over the last couple of years. Last year, he was 14. 2020, he was 12. So he, it, the course seems uh, to be suited to his style. So if he can just find a wee bit uh, of form uh, that he had, Towards the beginning of last season, then we may be we may we may slot in there somewhere. So P- Peter Malnardi for a long shot, one fifty one. Who's in confidence, Paul Moata? I just, well, <laughs> I'll lay it out there. <laughs> um, I might I'll quickly run through the Sharks picks uh, this week as well. We might start doing that. Um, very similar. He has outlined how many one two, almost the whole field here. Three, four, five. Uh, he's got Cam Smith, which I, I wouldn't be surprised to see him go back to back, but at that price, very short. Uh, Mark Leishman, Sung Im. Did he come up for you at all, Sung Jay? Uh, he did. He did. Mm. He, um, he's he's probably the best Asian putter yeah. on, on tour. But when you've got players like Siwoo Kim and Hideki Matsuyama, it's not hard. Uh, it's not hard to be. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the. He sort of he was just a wee bit short for mine. Yep. Uh, funnily enough, he's gone Chris Kirk and Rory Sabatini too. All righty. Let's have a look at where the money's going this week, or where our money's going this week. Uh, and I'll start with Tom. I've got his here. He's only I've just realised he's only given me four bets. That's all right. I oh, guess, good. I guess we'll change it up to five. Up to five bets. I've, I've only got four bets as well. Okay. All right. No one reads the rules. That's fine. <laughs> You do this stuff, you know, for the better of the team. And when Tom's back next no week, we'll, no we'll, be, we'll be no right one. on. Bloody hell. Four or five. Anyway, $20 on leash to win. $40 on leash. So $20 to win at, he's coming to 19s, which is a bit sick. He was 21s earlier. He is $19. Yeah. So 20 to win at 19s, 40 to uh, for a top 10 at three dollars twenty and then twenty dollars on eric van ruyen top 10 at where is eric nine dollars and twenty dollars on harry higgs top 10 at a lot uh thirteen dollars so there's Tom's picks. You want me to go next? Yeah, yeah, you go. Uh, all righty. I'm going to go 10, uh, 20. No, 10 to win on leash at 19s. 20, a top five at $5 for leash. And 50, a top 10 for leash at 320. So I'm all on Mark Leishman here. Uh, then I will also go ten dollars on Chris Kirk top ten at seven fifty, and then we've got a wee tournament match bet multi, something we haven't seen on the uh, the cut line for a long time. Three legs: uh, Chris Kirk versus Brian Harmon. I'll take Chris Kirk. Hideki versus Webb. I'm taking Hideki. Whoa! Yep. And Leash versus Sungjae. I'll take Leash. Ten dollars on those three at seven seventy seven. All the sevens. Yep. So looking for a big week out of Mark Leishman. Otherwise, I will be losing it all. What about you, Paul? 
Uh, I'm going $10 to win on Kevin Na at 26. I'm going $25 on Kevin Na top five finish at 650. Uh, I'm going $25 on Siwoo Kim top Asian Oof. at $7. Uh, and I'm going $40. Uh, I was tempted to take this guy as my roughie, um, but I've just decided to take him as top European, Stephen Yeager at $7, $40 on Stephen Yeager at 7 Competing directly with Peter Malnati in the European. Malnati's American. Oh, is he? Yeah. Well, there we go. He's competing directly with some Slovakian in the top oh, Europeans. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's hard to get these things right, you know. They keep jumping chip and changing. Oh, what good no, Rory. Rory does. <laughs>